went down. These are the highlights. Geno Smith, eight interceptions and only four touchdowns coming in. Matty Ice hasn't looked so icy lately. First quarter, Falcons Oh, uh, in trouble here. Yeah. Yeah. If you're the wing, you cannot get beat inside right there, Heath. You can't allow that to happen. I played that wing for seven, eight years of my 10-year career. Listen, make him go the long route outside. Look at that smile from Rex. Jets ball on the Falcons 34. And there's G <laughs> This is a crazy play, too. What on earth is going on in this game? What do they say? Better to be lucky than good? Or well, He drops the easy one right here, hits him in the chest, doesn't catch that one. Ball gets hit all over the place, and then he dives and makes this catch. Hey, listen. Hey, make the easy one. You only get one catch on the stat sheet, Cumberland. Oh, so first down for the Jets there. Floor plays later. Rex decides to go for it on fourth and one. The Jets break the huddle with five seconds left on the play clock, but for some reason they have a penalty. So it's delay a game on the Jets. They would settle for a Nick Folk 22-yard field goal, and the Jets go up three to nothing. The Falcons on the ensuing possession. Matt Ryan throwing to Roddy White, who oh. fumbles. Julio Jones finally corrals it, and he picks up the first down. Hey, that's a big man. That's a sweet little, uh, you know, scoop and almost score. But Roddy White, hold on to the ball, baby. There were some wild plays early in this one. Absolutely. Yeah, this was crazy. So you move ahead to the second quarter. The Falcons have the ball on the same drive. It's third and goal on the Jets four. Ryan, a little shovel pass to Jason Stanley. That's a four-yard touchdown, and the Falcons feeling good because they're on top seven to three at this point. Take another look at this one. Is it shovel or shuffle? I mean, I've always heard shovel, but you were arguing with me earlier, but beautiful play any way you design it. I mean, you get the defensive end running up the field. Matt Ryan, nice job, buddy. Either or. It's a touchdown. You can call it <laughs> Six to one, half a dozen of the other. So there's some confusion here, right? Jeff Cumberland's coming in the huddle. Kellen Winslow's supposed to be in. Look at Marty Morgan. It's 12 Morningweg. personnel. It's 11 personnel. It's too tight. It's one tight. Hey. So if you want to get mm. Jeff Cumberland going, just yell at him. Yeah. That's a big time throw by Geno Smith right there. Yeah. I like the catch, but as DJ said, that throw makes that play. Big was of he, beauty. Was he doing the dirty bird there in Atlanta? Yeah, but he added something to it. I'm not sure what he added to it, but he added something. Well, and here's Cumberland again, this time rumbling for 47 yards. The Jets once again in the red zone. Not a lot of pass rush, and Geno Smith able to find some big seams in this Falcon secondary. Then Gino to another guy who played pretty well tonight, Jeremy Curley. This is a Ooh. great individual effort. Not by Asante Samuel. Come on, son. At least put some hands on him. Should he have tried oh, a little harder? I mean, try, he put, put a hat on him, put a shoulder. I mean, maybe he was worried about getting the defensive fine or something. Look at Gino getting them all pumped huh. up. Mike Smith going for it on fourth and goal just before halftime. Now, they get the penalty here. It's pass interference, so the Falcons have a fresh set of downs. They could have kicked it. Taking the points. Take your three points. Now, if that man was healthy, I can understand go for it on fourth and one. Instead, they give it to Jacquez Rogers, and he is stopped for no gain. So the Falcons go into halftime, trailing by 10. It could have been a seven point game. Well, yeah, you bring in the big offensive lineman to get an extra big block here instead of your tight end of the game, and you still blow it. The way they got manhandled up front all night long just does a puzzling decision right there. Well, that's been the common theme for this Atlanta Falcons team from the start of the season. In the third quarter, Matt Ryan finds Tony Gonzalez for a 15 yard gain. First down, Falcons. And look at Gonzalez here making a nice block to seal the end. Jacquez Rogers takes it in for the four-yard touch. The Falcons making a three-point game. They're down 17-14. Now, a tweet came in from Joe Namath that said, I'm looking for the Jets to create a turnover, get after the quarterback, and make something happen. That's exactly what they did. Muhammad Wilkerson gets to Matt Ryan, and they recover the fumble. The Jets take over at the Falcons 27. Look at Broadway Joe. He called it, but hey, Wilkerson, guys, all night long, he lived in that backfield. Play after play, he was in the backfield. He was a busy man in the fourth quarter. Jeremy Curley fields the punt. Turns on the turbo for a second here, and he picks up 24 yards. Matt Bosher with the horse collar penalty. That's uh, getting it down to the Falcons' 38-yard line. You're a kicker or a punter, you just get him down however you can. Doesn't matter, right? No. How about this pass from Geno Smith to Kellen Winslow? Anytime you have Kellen Winslow in the back corner of the end zone and a defensive lineman in the flat, always throw to the tight end of the back corner of the end zone. <laughs> was that big Sheldon Richardson in the flat? Uh, yes. That it was. So the Jets go up 27-14. Falcons have the ball now. Matt Ryan looking deep for Julio Jones, but he drops it. He's got to finish that one, but guys, he made up for it with a pretty sweet grab yeah. later on in the quarter. He'll be back here in a minute. Uh, he's talking to Roddy. You know, I almost had it. Three yeah. plays later, second and three on the Jets, 19. Jock quiz. Rogers making some... Old Nintendo moves there. 19-yard score. 
So it's 27-21 at this point, guys. The Falcons are coming back. Well, they're running the ball despite the horrid offensive line play. And the Jets trying to get some pressure on them, but they can't do anything oh. there. Oh, look at that, Julio Jones. Call for offensive pass interference. So the next play, Matt Ryan, Ryan deep again for Julio. This is monster. That's sweet. yeah, that was. You nasty. see, Cromartie try to arm bar him a little bit. So what does he do? He lets him hold the arm, get the flag. I'll catch this one-handed. Those are two of the best athletes in the National Football League, yes. right there, Cromartie and Julio Jones. What a sweet catch. So three plays later, third and one on the Jets, 18. Ooh. Matt Ryan nearly intercepted by Darren Walls. So it's fourth and one on the Jets' 18. Where's it going, Heath? Uh, it should go into the fullback. Oh, I'm just kidding. Tony Gonzalez. There he is. Picks up the first down for the Falcons. So four plays later, the Jets going for it again. Fourth and three on the Jets' seven. Where do the Jets think it's going, Heath? <laughs> <laughs> Gonzalez. They had him double teamed. They had four eyes, four hands. They had him mugged. Yeah. But we get pass interference or actually defensive, defensive holding, holding is out what in they're the calling. flat. Gives him one more chance this time. Matt Ryan to the big tight end. No, not Tony Gonzalez. Levine the, Toilolo. The bigger tight end. The bigger one. We'll, we'll say taller in stature. Oh, look at Gonzalez pump for the youngster. So they take a one-point lead. But here come the Jets. Gino and the Jets. Are you kidding me? Wow. How you about know, some two-minute offense Well, there? you love the finish there by Stephen Hill. You, know, you catch a little four-yard route, and he takes it for 12. I almost wonder, guys, too, being in this hurry-up offense, that's, that's West Virginia. I mean, yes. This is where he's most comfortable to get that point. rhythm and get rolling. Yep. But he looked a mighty comfortable towards the end of the game here, trying to get his uh, second comeback win, and he got a little help here. They pick up the first down, do the Jets. So they call timeout. They line up for the field goal. And wouldn't you know, the Jets pull off the win in Atlanta thanks to the field goal from Nick Folk. Look at Rex Ryan. Kind of excited, a little pep in that step. They're feeling good about this one. 30 to 28 is the final. The Jets are three and two. The Falcons drop to one and four. Here's Rex at the podium after a big win for the Jets. 